previously in Venera. The most distinct gift from God the Father is the person of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12. He says, now we have received not the spirit of this world. Tell everybody, now we've received not the spirit of this world. Yes. He says, but the spirit which is of God. And he says, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Don't ask for a car. Ask for the Holy Ghost. If you receive the Holy Ghost, you'll know what is free. And what is free, you don't ask because it is free. Now, when we're talking about the new creature in Christ Jesus, you and I, life was a pre-configuration of the man of the spirit. When it comes to the man of the flesh, it was just the experience that took after the man taking form. It is the man of Genesis 1, 26, 27, entering the guy of 2, 7, the complete mystery. That is what perfects you and I. You did not become born again as a poor man. You might have become born again and outside there were evidences of poverty, but you were not poor when you became born again. Outside there might have been evidences of weakness, but you were not weak when you became born again. Why? Because when you became born again, the Bible says you became a new creature and the old is past. And the Bible says, and behold, all things have become new. And the next line says, and all things are of God. Your eyes are of God. Your body is of God. Your destiny is of God. Everything around you is of God. You don't begin the life of salvation with nothing. You receive life from on high. Because you've received one which is Jesus Christ. Which the Bible says is full of grace and truth. You don't know the power of grace. What does 1 Timothy 1.14 say? He says that the grace of God was abundant on me. And he says that he came with much faith and what? And love. Instruction in the things of the Spirit is key. Because therein is understanding. If apocalypsis, unveiling of things, is not reconciled with understanding, it might appear like revelation, but it will be deception in the middle if it's not understood. There's a very thin line between light and darkness. The whole distinction of the boundaries that, that, that draw the form of darkness is the spirit called deception. The devil is weak and powerless, but he's not stupid. He's crafty. The Bible calls him crafty. Jesus says that all power and authority has been given me. But you hear Christians saying, we break the power of Satan. We break the power. We break the power. Who gave him power? Yes, the stronghold in your brain. That thing that exalted itself high against every knowledge of Christ. And that is why we want to bring all your thoughts to captivity the obedience of Christ that after your obedience is coming all obedience is what punished there's a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is coming but obedience does not come until you understand truth first John chapter 2 verses 27 he says but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you and ye need not that any man teach you Listen, but as the same anointing, the Bible says, teaches you all things. That means that the primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is to teach you, not to set you free from bondage. Now, when he says that the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, he has shined. Ye are the light. Hey, ye are the light. Your everything the Holy Ghost needs to create. There is no teaching that ought to cause a man to desire to abide in the Holy Ghost. The only teaching distinctively is to cause a man to yield to the teaching of the Holy Ghost. That man shall abide because yielding, the Bible says, pacifieth offense. Every teaching of the Holy Spirit on your life is freedom and what is free for you. Your freedom did not begin when the disease left your body. That is the result of your freedom. Deliverance is the result of your freedom. Your freedom was purchased at the cross. We don't come in the presence of God to tell you bondage. We come in the presence of God to tell you that you are. Free. That's the gospel. He says, but we have received the spirit, which is of God. That we might what? We might know the things which are freely given to us. Give me the Amplified. The Amplified says, 
Now, uh -huh, amplify. we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, but the Holy Spirit, who is from God, given to us that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts of divine favor and blessings. Listen, so freely, not only free, but lavishly, hallelujah, bestowed upon us by God. That's why me, I don't get intimidated when I see the wicked thrive. I know the end of it. The Bible is very clear. <laughs> the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. What does the Amplified say? And he says, and the wealth, he says, of the sinner finds its way eventually. It finds its way eventually into the hands of Apostle Grace to whom it was laid up for. Put your name! Because all things are you. Send your Christ. Why do you even worry?